I love playing with unique layering dies like this one from Creoles called Frame and Inlay Nina and finding many different ways to use it for card designs. Hello, I am Karen Hashik of Karen's Creative Cards and I am sharing this video on both the Creoles YouTube channel and mine. Positives and negatives on a card are a great way to add interest and this is the concept I use to create this card. I cut the die set twice out of blue and silver patterned mirror card and mixed and matched the pieces for a fun look. I also chose to raise some of the layers for more depth and interest. And I just love how that one turned out. I thought the die set would make a real fun circle rocker and I created this card. I used the same patterned floral paper for the background as well as all the pieces in the die set and then I raised the pieces of the frame and inlay, inlay Nina die pieces so the pattern continued from the back to the front. So it's a rocker card that will stand up for display and um, then um, there, it will fit nicely in a square envelope. Um, I love all the stitching on this die set. I'm a huge fan of stitches on die sets and this one is a very cool one that does that. So if you're in the United States you can find these and many more Creoles dies on the Frantic Stamper website and of course elsewhere in the world they're all available at the Creoles website and I have links to both in my description box. Now this die set works beautifully with the cir gatefold circle die set. Um, it match, It goes beautifully right in the center. It fits right in there. And so I am going to use both of these die sets to make a card in um, this video. So um, I've cut the die pieces in advance to save a bit of time and also because my die cutting machine does not fit in my filming area. So here are the pieces that I cut from the gatefold circle die set. So this is the very large piece and then you get several layers and of course because I love stitching I chose the ones with the stitching. I've added a happy birthday on the inside and um, that part is ready to go. I also cut a couple pieces for the front um, and um, again I chose the stitching layers. Um, there are always, uh, well not always, but there's usually uh, several layers that you can choose from but in most cases I choose the stitching because that's just what I love. So I am going to add some glue and glue down this first layer in this circle gatefold card. that but that's I think it's still okay so that's ready to go now um, I've cut all these pieces um, from the frame and inlay set from a pretty patterned floral paper and I'm going to take some of the pieces and add them to um, this is just the largest circle um, from this frame and inlay um, die set so you can see you get an outer circle and then you get the inner circle inner pieces and um, all of them have the stitching on it um, this one is the outer circle and it's ready to go I cut it um, from a piece of floral pattern paper and I had two of them so I cut this one and this one at the same time so they are going to match up so the pattern is going to flow from the background into the front and I did put a little tick mark exactly where the top was on here so as I'm lining these up it will be a little bit easier I just left it on my die cut uh, mat because I didn't want the pieces to be moved around and to lose the order. So I'm going to take this outer piece and I am going to glue it on 
I put a little tick mark here and I put a little tick mark here. So that will help me line these up um, so that the pattern continues from the front to the background, which I think is a very cool look. Um, I saw a card by Annalise of Creales and she had uh, done something similar and I was just fascinated with it so I decided I needed to um, do something similar. This glue has decided not to come out so let's try my glue gun. I don't want a lot of glue because I don't want it to all be seeping out onto that pretty patterned paper. But I do need to hold it down. So I am looking for the tick mark up here and the tick mark up there to start uh, lining these up. And if you look at the pattern that glue will dry clear. I can look there and there and also on the sides and start pressing that down. If it's not lined up perfectly, I can do a little trimming. Get that piece to stay down. I have um, all of these pieces ready to go. Um, I am going to just take the inner part of the um, stitched areas and um, put them in here and while I do that I am going to raise them. So I have some sticky adhesive strips here that I'm going to raise each piece on. came out of here. And then this one, the top is This one's going to go up here, get that centered, this one is the lower right. You can see how easily this comes together, but makes for a very interesting, beautiful pattern. And then this one's down here. 
turned it around I can tell the reds up there and then on the center I'm also going to raise it and I uh, glued on a celebrate um, this is going to be a celebration birthday card so raise it on all four sides So that piece is ready to go. I'll erase my tick mark up here. And I am going to attach this to the card. Um, and I um, want it to have glue just on this side. So um, kind of draw a line there. We're going to put glue on this side only. that down get it set up while I do that I'll show you I made another one with very similar paper and concept um, and when you open it this one says happy birthday here um, and it has a nice white area here that I can write a message and I added a little bit of that paper on the inside to do some decorating I think that circle gatefold um, card uh, die set makes really unique fun cards so this one is also done um, as you can see we have the uh, different levels of layering there and then the front opens up um, we have a pretty piece of paper there with the stitching and a happy birthday on that one so I have two pretty circle gatefold cards ready to go the next time I need a nice birthday card. I love how the gatefold cards turned out with so many floral layers and um, I hope you get inspired by my cards to give some of these ideas and products a try and then send some of your handmade joy out into this world. <music>